Gabby and Belle. And Belle. You are now live. Happy Happy Friendsgiving. Happy Friendsgiving. Oh my gosh. You guys have a welcome to the West Valley Cooking Facebook page. We have The donate button should be on there. Can you guys who are watching confirm that you do see a donate button? So if you want to donate to St. Jude, go for it. It's an amazing organization. We both go near yeah. and dear to our hearts, especially mine now because we have a little baby burrito yes. on board. So oh, it's really all about um, And William Sonoma has been supporting St. Jude forever. And, you know, a huge effect on COVID, you know, as we all step back and realize, hey, we've all been affected totally. But... A lot of these charities, um, St. Jude included, you know, we're not having our 5Ks, we're not having our benefit dinners. We always host a ton of corporate events, even here at Williams Sonoma, where they're getting those funds to help these kids and their families. And this year it's just not happening. So any way you can help, anything you can give is so appreciative. By me, Williams Sonoma, Gobby. Um, and Williams Sonoma's matching all the oh, donations. Yeah, and Williams Sonoma's matching. So, so they not, they're, they're not they're they're not not seeing the donation button, so I'm uh, trying to figure that out. Okay, we're we gonna figure that we out. did hit that when we set it up, right? Yeah. You want to come over here and I'll look at it again? <laughs> Just some quick technical difficulties. Here, stop. Make okay. sure we're good. I'll look at the technical side quickly. Okay. Let me tell you where we are, because a lot of people maybe have not been here. Are we still on me? Yeah, we're yeah, good. Yeah, you're, you're good. Set. So we're in the Williams Sonoma Test Kitchen. I'm gonna give you just a little background of what we do here. We create all of our um, products we sell in store, it's food products, so all of Gobby's and other um, mixes, cake mixes, braising sauces, spice drugs. Um, all of our food products are developed right here in the test kitchen, near and dear to our heart. You know, they come in, we develop, we taste, we taste, we taste, we test, we test, we test, and they are not out of this kitchen, out of these doors until they are chef approved. Um, and in your kitchens after that. So, Gabby and I have worked together for years now um, on all of her products that you can see all, all here. Bell tests everything. <laughs> if I test it in my kitchen, Bell tests it here, and then yeah. it goes and gets actually yeah. free. And then we put it on the shelves um, and into your. And homes. we have so many fun things coming next year. So, oh. We can't say anything. No, we can't say anything. But they are amazing. So it says it was on the main page, but it's not on the live video. So, I believe okay, so what you have to do. Back is go back to the main page and then you'll be able to duplicate that. Kendall okay. also just shared a link, williamsonoma.com pages slash Williamsonoma new St. Jude. Perfect. So. Amazing. Let's just make Williams Sonoma go broke and do all of the donations. <laughs> all the donations. Um, I also want to say that we have a special guest today. Oh, yeah. Um, Gabby and I have been friends for years. Yeah. And we have Over there. Okay, yeah. Let's Carry on. Everything is 
so different this year, right? People aren't going home, they're not spending time together. A lot of things are virtual. No rules, essentially, is what Bobby and I have decided. 2020 is so no rules. eat whatever the F you want. Yep. Traditions out the window. So um, in our Friendsgiving assortment, we paired up with our friend Matt Bolas from 404 Kitchen in Nashville, Tennessee. Hi, Matt. He sent, and we sent a ton of kits to a bunch of our good friends. Nashville hot chicken, blow your socks off. Check them out, you guys. It's actually insane. Gobby stuffing, you want to tell them a little bit about? This is my I'm sure everyone knows about and all mushroom stuffing. stuffing, which is honestly the best stuffing ever. The recipe is on whatsgobbycooking.com, and I can promise you if you make this, You'll never make another stuffing ever again. And the recipe's online, right? You the recipe's it. on my website. Yes, it's amazing. Well, real quick, I just pinned the link from William Sonoma where you can donate. So Smart. there oh, you go. Smart. So we're good. We're good. We're good. Right. And then, obviously, we have a turkey. We're going to get back to that. Um, here, Thomas, if you want to zoom in. Oh, I have created yeah. what is a English family tradition in my family, bolognese lasagna. It's the best, if I modestly say so myself. Hey, you guys, it's so good and also so heavy. Yeah, it's like, there's she's a thick. lot of she's <laughs> And delicious and full of like so much cheese. So if you need a little extra comfort this year, you know, my family, we always start with Thanksgiving or always start with lasagna on Thanksgiving. Do you really? Um, yeah, you it's our, so it's cool. appetizer. That's and then we so take good. like two naps, <laughs> then we get to the turkey, then we take another nap, and then we get to it's Whatever. so good. Oh, and we also can't forget the dessert. So also, like, if you think about Thanksgiving dessert, right, everyone's like, pie, pie, pie. Amazing. Do you I like pie? Pies. Do you love pie? I said, I love pie. I just lie. I, I just call myself lying. But I don't love pie. I don't like pie at all. Me either. It's very controversial. It's very controversial. I mean, if there's time and place, maybe it's Thanksgiving. I but you can eat a triple threat brownie. Or, like, Shall we? apple crisp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what do we have? Over when you're on a pregnant belly. <laughs> Here. So these are Gobby's creation. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, God. I'm so sad. <laughs> Gobby's creation of triple threat. So it's what? Cookie, chocolate chip cookie. Cookie Oreo brownie bake. I mean. And then look at look at these layers in here. Absolute perfection. Perfection. And we sell this mm -hmm. on williamsnoma.com. You can get it straight to your door. It comes in this adorable packaging. Also, and, you know what's a really great idea? And just what? to like kind of change the narrative on what, like how people are sad that they're not going to be able to go home to their families or get on planes and all that kind of yeah. stuff. I feel like this is a great opportunity to like order some food, bake yeah. some banana bread, make a pie, if you will, yeah. <laughs> and drop it off to your friends, to your neighbors, 100%. to your teacher, to whoever, and like just like share a little bit of love. Yeah. Or order a pizza from your favorite local pizza joint yeah, or like I was gonna support local businesses. For sure. I right. was gonna say, like, I actually, I grew up in the restaurant industry. Restaurants are so near and dear to my heart and even our family restaurants, there's, people aren't eating out as much. So I know. if you can support your local restaurants, what yeah, are all your guys' food? restaurants? Um, Boston originally, mm -hmm. um, soon to be Vegas, Florida, there's some in the Midwest. When is Vegas way? opening? TBD? As soon as the world opens. Can we go to the wedding together yes. as soon as it's allowed? It's penciled in. Okay, great. It's penciled in. Because we want to hang out with Todd um, and you in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Same <laughs> thing. Same no more. Same. No comment. <laughs> we have a good time. Um, so, Tom, do you have any questions thus far? Nothing yet. A lot of people are on Team No Pie, so you guys are oh, not alone. We love yeah. you guys. Oh, my gosh. So, this year for my brothers are coming up from LA. Mm -hmm. Um, and chocolate chip cookies, obviously, the biggest mm -hmm. of triple threat. Can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and I have what's become our family chocolate chip cookie recipe. Oh, so good. Yeah, it's good. You so, guys, if you don't follow, don't do it right now. Wait till this is over. But if you don't follow <laughs> Belle on Instagram, her Instagram is so good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. From the Insta queen <laughs> herself. I will take that. Very okay. Awesome. I have questions that people sent in. Oh, amazing. Well, unless you want to talk about something else first. No. Well. I just know people are very scared of carving a turkey. I know. They are. Well, and we have a funny, real professional. Funny that you mention it. <laughs> Look, it just popped up here. A delicious Willy Bird turkey. This is a big bird. It's How many pounds is it? Almost 20 pounds. Okay, so here's my question. Is it an astronaut quarantine? <laughs> no, Jim, it's a 
minutes. <laughs> 20 pounds. Maybe 40. How long did this cook for? This cooked, I cook it at 450 degrees convection roast mm -hmm. for about 30 to 45 minutes. To brown the skin. I want it skin. super crispy. Yeah. I also don't, actually, Bobby and I figured this out today about each other. Mm -hmm. Learned something new every day. Mm -hmm. We both don't trust the bird. No. Why don't you trust the bird? Because I don't have time for that. Okay, I have more time to be really. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also don't have time for that, but it's because <laughs> basically when you're tying the bird together, you're not letting enough air circulation in. So you'll notice when you're, you know, slicing your traditional truss bird that the inner thigh is not cooked through. It's kind of slimy. Always. Kind of nasty. That's why my dad never. That's why I always. Put that's why I know. Yeah, you always have to put it back in. If you don't trust the bird, it allows more oxygen. Hot air circulation. And you go into Get the cavity. Oh my god. <laughs> um, How and it makes the skin even crispier because then you don't have that like wet skin in between the rest of the thigh. Yeah. Maria's here. Oh. Alex says hi. Hi. Everybody's tuning hi. in. So we need everyone to share. Yeah, everyone share. Call your friends, call your mom, call your dad, your grandma. Yeah, we're only going to be live for like an hour. <laughs> and we've probably already been live for 10 minutes. I know. Okay, so here are some more turkey questions while okay. you're transferring that. Are, are we going to make it gravy? No. Uh, we can. We should make it gravy. Yeah. Okay. Do you do anything with the carcass? Yes. Turkey stock. Turkey stock that I actually use. And you can um, freeze it. And you can freeze it. Deli containers. Make leftover turkey soup. You can make turkey tortilla soup. You can make any sort of soup. You use it in other stuff. Soup. But here's my question. Yeah. You know, like, well, we've both been to culinary school, whatever, like, what up? Well, you were. I actually was. Okay, like, but like, your, awesome. father, yes, yes. your father is your building culinary school. Have you ever roasted a turkey by accident with the templates inside? Um. I left the neck in there. Yeah, like in the back. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a warming. I've done it too. The first time you pull a turkey neck out of the turkey. <laughs> but when you, but I cooked it, it was actually two years ago at Friendsgiving. Oh my God, and nice. then I served it. Like I just, and it was fine. It was fine. So I think they probably make that bag. Yeah, oh, it's safe dumb to have So moments that's, like this. <laughs> that's you, don't worry. Kendall's about family that. says hi. All right, we have another question. Should I brine the turkey, Gabby, with your herb turkey recipe? Uh, yeah, are you a briner? I'm a briner, are you not? I'm not. <gasps> You're not. Talk about no one's got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I have done tons of videos about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if I would say salmonella everywhere yeah, because old wives tell me you have to do that you just like brush the dry brine off or you yeah. take out a wet brine and then you season it and pop it in the oven. Can I tell you my top secret ingredient yeah. for making your turkey look like this? I do. Butter baby. Yeah we That's butter it. ours hardcore. This is inside six, the skin. 16 tablespoons brush. Lather it on. First you put it under the skin? No. Okay so first I do actually a very quick and dirty drying just yeah. with salt I guess you could say and I massage the bird just with salt. Ooh. I dry off the bird really, really well. Oh, sorry. Honey. Massage it with salt. Get in there. We're getting I know, in there. get up and personal. Um, All right, here's, a, here's another question. Yeah. I like to prepare plates to give my neighbors. Do you have suggestions for how to make single serving options, like maybe stuffing in cupcake pans or? I would say the muffin tins are you're going to be your best friend this year. Yeah, muffin tins for stuffing. stuffing. For Matt, you could make little mashed or mashed potatoes in it or something. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I or love to do with tins? is to make mashed potatoes as you would, um, let them cool, and make them a little tighter than you would, like a creamy mashed potato. Form them into little cakes, give them a little fry in oh. butter. It's like a little potato cake, just melts them off. Sorry about it. Yeah. Okay, so you could do stuffing in the, mu in the muffin tin, potatoes, like like basically ice cream scoops and fried, like Bell just told yeah. us. Um, what else is there? I am a huge fan of doing turkey meatballs. 
Is that um, a turkey? Is that a turkey? I'm actually doing that this year. With the gravy? With the gravy, stuffing inside. We have an amazing recipe. I talk about it all the time. Joshua McFadden's turkey meatball recipe is on our website. All right, so if you don't trust the bird, is there anything else they need to do? No. Beside cooking? No. no? So you don't cook, you follow the recipe you're following. Yeah, so I did um, 450, um, what did I say? Convection. 30 minute. Convection mm -hmm. roast, 450. Get it super hot, get the skin really crispy. Take the oven temperature down to 350, and then I am a huge check the temperature. A million times, I like to leave a therm in there till 165. Every, 165, yeah, 5, 170. Yeah, every bird is different, every oven is different. You want to make sure you get an oven therm. We sell a ton of amazing um, ones that stay in while it's cooking. So I you know don't those have to are the oven a million times. Those are smart. It's safer. Wait, so I have I wrote a whole post about this on West Bobby to be yeah. my top 10 Thanksgiving tools, but I want to hear wow. your top three as you well, do you want to carve the bird? Should we? Do people want us to carve the bird? Yes, and everyone's know. very impressed with the double tong technique for oh, transition over. And she likes so, it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not in like nine months, but you know, I live turkeys a lot. Um, <laughs> double tong, turkey meatball, and then I said the turkey meatball. Yeah. So, what's the best place to about? take the temp since you don't trust the bird? The bird? Yeah. You take it in two places one in the breast and one in the leg. Yep. Got it. Thigh. And yeah, and you'll hear a lot of different tails, close to the bone, away from the bone. I always do close to the bone because it's, you know, further internally inside the turkey and that's what's going to take the longest to cook. So you want to make sure you get pretty close to the bone in both ways. Let's see what this is at. I mean, oh, this yeah. has been, this been resting for But I bet it's still pretty, pretty warm inside. Yeah. Look at, there it goes. It's going up. It's going up. Look at this, this is a really nice thermometer. I know, it's really easy to read. How many days do you leave a dry brine in the fridge for? I'm a 48 hour to 72 hour. Okay, we're at 150, but that's because it's been sitting out for two hours. So it's perfect. So it's <laughs> that's what we're going to say. Basically. Basically. Okay, um, tell me your top tips. Okay, or your yes. top tools. Sexy thing. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Really pretty. Really pretty. But like also, look at this, what it comes in. I know. Nice gift. Yeah, 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 I got this for... Christmas for a lot of people, and they're like, well, you're the only one who carved a turkey, so <laughs> now I have five of them in my own household. But yeah, Thomas, get a close-up of this. This bad boy. Ah. Look at that. I didn't think, like, a turkey carving situation would be sexy. <laughs> it <was> so <laughs> okay, so I have my carving knife. Carving fork. Carving fork. How do you do it? So I cut it down, like, I cut it just to the side of the breastbone. Oh, you breast before thigh. Oh, I'm sorry, no, I cut the legs out first. Sorry, sorry. It's Wait, that's not here. It's baby brain. brain. <laughs> you cut the two legs off first. Yes. I'm gonna get in there. So the other good thing about yeah, maybe like around there. The oh, other good, the, the other good thing about not trusting your bird is is really clear lines of where you're gonna cut. So you're just gonna cut right where the leg begins to pull away. You just follow it right along. This is a big bird. Yeah, I know. And you'll feel kind of where it naturally comes apart. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look how nice this then, sharp knife is. I That's know. the other thing, you guys. If you didn't get a new knife or anything, sharpen your knife before you do this. It makes a world of difference before you cook like, a big meal. Always. Yeah. Well, I mean. Do you ever spatchcock to roasted turkey? Yeah. There's yeah. a recipe on West Bobby cooking. I'm sure there's probably one. Huge fan. Really yeah. That. Huge fan. I even like to break down the turkey when it's raw, so kind of carve it what we are doing now when it's raw and cook all the pieces that way. Yeah, genius. Even cooking. But then you don't get, you have to compromise, right? Because then you don't get the like, aha, turkey moment. Right. But you get even cut pieces. So. And when you have, like not this year obviously, because we're not doing big parties, but if you were doing a big party, you don't have to worry about cutting the bird while people are over and like that yes. stress that and anxiety of that, you've already Yeah, it's like as if like a million people on Facebook are like watching you do this right now. <laughs> Um, I hope there's a million of you. Okay, so we're just gonna, I just break it right at the um, at the joint. I'm gonna come over here, do the same thing. Follow this just along. And also, never afraid to use my hands, ever. No, because we One clean and we're showered. Yeah. We should be showered. And we've all been COVID tested. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think I showered today. Um, and just go right along the joint. And then you'll see the natural point. You know, you don't want to cut too much. That's what you'll butcher it quite literally. And you're just going to pop it out. 
Oh. And it should come out super easily. It could come out just super like that. easily. And this pink around here, don't worry about that. You know, you want a little color in your bird. Again, if you're checking the temperature, you won't be worried about. It's still um, 170. Yeah, it's still the temp is right. And there's the guy. Woo -hoo -hoo! Nicely bird. done. You want, you want a serving potter? I'm just gonna put it right back on. Here. Okay. We're gonna go. Yeah, this is rustic. <laughs> okay, the other side. Can I get you a napkin? Yeah, I know. It's not a glamorous job, but you know. Somebody's got to do Someone's it. Someone's got to do it. I mean, it is very like impressive, though. Like whoever yeah. carves the bird looks yeah. like a baller. It's the moment. Look at that. Take this out. So, if you spatchcock turkeys, how do you get drippings for gravy? Um, it will or do you suggest for good gravy? Well, you should get still. You still get drippings from a spatchcock bird, or yeah, you'll never still But get you drippings. can also make gravy without drippings. You can, yeah. You. you I make one this week. I love your. So here's right. the deal: with the drippings, you're getting like stuff. Well, for me, you're getting thyme and rosemary and sage and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, you got a note passed to me. <laughs> you're getting anyway. So instead of if you're doing, maybe you want a gravy and there's no turkey. You just saute some onions and some garlic and then saute the thyme and the rosemary and the sage and all those different kinds of things and then kind of like brown it up in some butter and then you make the roux, add the stock and... Yeah, the key is the roux, which is yeah. butter and flour. And like to really cook the roux so it gets yeah. kind of like golden. Yeah, you toasty. don't want like a white... No, we don't want a blonde roux. We want no. dark toasty, it's supposed to smell nutty. You little, want that little toast. brown buttery yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay, so okay. from here, now this is what I was talking now about. The breast. Now you cut just to the left or to the right yeah. of one of the sides of the breast. So we'll find kind of where the breastbone kind of goes down the center. You can kind of feel where it's hardened right there. And then you're just going to slice right along. And, and just you kind of follow, uh oh, it's not very short. Follow the breastbone. The breastbone. And you'll feel it. I always say, you know, people say, you know, how do you like get good at this? One, practice, but two, yeah. just like follow the shape of the bird. And if you wanted to practice and like look like a boss in 2021 when you're hosting a real Friendsgiving, like with people, do this on a chicken. Yeah, like you could chicken. get a couple of, you could do a rotisserie chicken or roast chicken once every couple of weeks. And it's just like a great way to practice. Great way to we practice. had to learn this. We had to like, we had to break down a chicken in culinary school in like four minutes or something oh in order to pass that week's class. Oh, it was did? very stressful. Um, the other thing I was going to say that we didn't do, we got ahead of ourselves, is sometimes I like to take the wings off first, first, just so they're not in the way. Fair. Um, but here we are. Let me swing around. I mean, look there at we that go. Look baby. at that. That is a big turkey breast. <laughs> Dang. I'm not mad. No, not at all. We're gonna have turkey tonight, just, turkey sandwiches. Just do we can tell the minutes. Just going hard on this. If turkey. you guys don't have a best friend who's a professional chef in your pod, your quarantine pod, I would suggest <laughs> seriously working on that. <laughs> <laughs> because it was a clutch decision for, for both of us. us. For both of us, it's a win-win. Um, so for everyone asking, people know Gabby. Belle is in charge of the test so kitchen. Belle runs the test kitchen at William Sonoma, which means many things. She's actually been a guest on my podcast before, and we basically ran through her entire life story, but I'll give you the cliff notes right here. She runs the test kitchen here at William Sonoma. She's responsible for cross testing every recipe and sometimes even making up the recipes and inventing them yeah, for all their products. More so than not. Right, for all the products. Do not, do not all your collaborators write their own things? Oh, well, yes, but okay. all your, like, if you open a William Sonoma catalog and... All the recipes all in there. The recipes, so all yeah. the recipes in the William Sonoma catalog, all the recipes on the William Sonoma website, the, the her. cookbooks that they publish. Belle's in charge of all that. She, so she runs all the every development. Every pot pan, avocado tool, Yeah, you knife, could, every air stuff. fryer. Every air fryer. Um, every Instant Pot. And it, she's amazing, and she makes the world's best lasagna. When do you use the <laughs> carving fork? See, that's a good, that's a great question. My left hand has become my carving fork. Um, <laughs> but if you are not as much of a, you know, hand user, you just kind of want to use it as a support. Now that and you would use it now to slice the yeah. turkey breast into like yeah, slices so like, and stuff like that. Is here. Um, don't be afraid of these juices. That's what's just going to make gravy. How good is this cutting board too? I know. <laughs> yeah, you got to have one with the grooves. With the grooves. Um, yeah, so it's kind of just a, as a support. 
That skin is nice and crispy. Thank you, butter. And some people cut their turkey thin. I like to cut it into steaks. Yeah, I'm really into this. Yeah, it's just, I think, more flavorful. It's a better vessel it's for the gravy, yeah. the stuffing. Yeah, and it's really pretty. Should we make a gravy? Do we even have yeah. a, is there flour handy? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna set up a little gravy okay. station over here. We gotta, um, yeah, we'll have to be able to do something with all this. Do you wanna make the roux in a saucepan? You wanna do it right here? Let's just do it right here. Right? Yeah, right? yeah less dishes. Like, yeah, we'll just heat this up. So here's what I was planning on doing, Belle. You tell me if, yeah. if I'm doing, if I would. If this passed the lens, no, my dad's handling this. This is what you use the fork for. If <laughs> you, not a monster like this. You have all these drippings in here, right? This is all the fat. This so, is the flavor. Yeah, you want all these delicious juices. This is everything that was on the bird, plus drippings. Fat. And some herbs, because I also... Yeah, you can leave them yeah. in there. I don't care. I um, did stuff the bird with thyme, rosemary. Do you ever stuff your bird with lemon? Sometimes. I also love, you know, sometimes depends on the rest of my meal, but just finishing with a squeeze of lemon adds some freshness. Yeah. I always cut the lemon into, my, yeah. into the cavity. Yeah. What do you guys use to sharpen your knives? And is William Sonoma sharpening knives right now? Well, I take mine to William Sonoma. Yeah. Um, but this is what you would one. use. <laughs> yeah, I use at home, just everyday maintenance. Yeah, with Bobby's grabbing. Here you go. One of these suckers. Um, I mean, but you take it into William Sonoma, it's a dollar an inch. Oh, look at that. I, I'm there a lot. Every day sharpening. This is just like every time before you slice an onion or do any sort of, oh, you're walking dangerously close to me. Yeah. Sorry. Um, just use your hone. But I would say a couple times a year, depending on how much you cook, you want to get them professionally sharpened. Um, we will follow up if William Stone is doing that right now. I'm not sure just because of COVID world and you know some of our in-store um, services have changed. So we'll follow up. How do I turn this on? Oh yeah, this one's sassy. We're not going to use this Okay, great. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? Yeah. I know, everyone is like, oh god, why can't I use this? <laughs> um, also, everyone, are we like halfway through? Yeah. Um, tell your friends and your family to tune in to get this like hot content, everything you need to know about Thanksgiving. There's still time yeah, for us to more break, questions. break the world record. So, so oh yes, also, while Gabby's doing that, should we talk about the lasagna for a second? Yeah. Like, Gabby, did you get it turned on? No, I'm just going to set. You turn it on. I'm, I don't want to burn it. Okay. These are in use like more than any stovetop ever probably. So they're just a little. We got our lasagna here. Good. Are you guys more gravy people or cranberry sauce? Gravy. Wait, why do I have to choose? What? Both? You love cranberry sauce? I know. I need the acid. I need the fresh acid. I'm just like a sauce girl. Here's the deal. I want the cranberry Here's sauce the to be shaken in a vodka cocktail. Like, obviously not while I'm pregnant, but I want every other gravy. <laughs> That's the only reason I want the cranberry sauce. Yes. Yeah, you need a one. Do you, do you want butter or you're just going to use that fat? I'm just going to use the fat in here. I need to put it in a I forgot. spoon. Do That's we want to do the gravy or, or do we want to go over to the lasagna? I'm sorry, look at this. Yes. You guys, look right here in Belle's kitchen. Well, this has to simmer. So let's do lasagna and then we'll talk about the gravy in, in a minute. Oh, we're just so excited. <laughs> um, okay, so this is, we kind of mentioned before, every year my family starts... <laughs> with a lasagna. Um, it's a tradition in a lot of Italian American households, one that you know we can't live without. It's a staple, it's delicious. Originally it was my grandmother, my Noma. She's probably watching. She's like my biggest fan, also the most avid Facebooker for any My I grandma was too. Right. I know, she's hot on Facebook. So, hi Noma. Her original recipe was like classic ricotta, mozzarella, marinara, super Italian old school. Can I ask you a question? Yes. How do you tell people who put cottage cheese in their lasagna? <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that question. <laughs> not, not great. <laughs> not on brand. No. Um, I don't really like cottage cheese in any scenario. No, I don't either. But I, people always yeah. do that. Yeah. Oh, that's more delicious. But cottage cheese is less fat. Okay. Continue. I think if you're gonna eat a lasagna, eat that damn lasagna. Yeah, go for this it. This way. Um, no, cottage cheese, it can have its time and its place, but not in a lasagna. No. Okay. Um, then it kind of turned into 
a bolognese, the first restaurant my, or recipe my dad ever taught me, how to make bolognese, kind of a secret family recipe, not so secret anymore. Um, Where is the it, recipe? It is on our blog, um, along with Bobby's recipes too. So if you look up English family lasagna, I added the bechamel. So what's cool about this is it's really a culmination. 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 That's a word. <laughs> Words are hard. Words are so Words hard. Are so hard sometimes. Um, of me, my dad, and my grandmother in a lasagna. I think it's life changing. It is. It is <laughs> absolutely the best lasagna um, I have ever had in my entire and, life. And yeah, it's just really fun. It's a fun tradition. I think Bobby is your main event this year. The lasagna. Belle made me a lasagna, and this is all I'm having for Thanksgiving. Exactly. Because honestly, after today, I think I will have cooked Thanksgiving dinner at least know, eight right? times for the vlog and for shoots and all that. I know. Kind of same. Stuff. Same here. I'm Are like, we gonna cut this open and eat yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Here, let's do gravy for a hot right. second. So here's the deal over here. I just put the, the whole, this is what, a roasting pan? Some, I don't know what kind of brand it is. Clearly it's sold at Williams Sonoma though. Yes. It's delicious. And I'm bringing this, the drippings to a boil. And then I'm just going to add a couple tablespoons of the flour right on in here and let it start to cook. And I'm not like, I want, first of all, I'm gonna like really brown it up. Like I don't want it to be, blonde at all and then I'm going to and also when the flour yeah there you go <laughs> do you need more I can buy more no, this is fine. the flour when you're cooking it like this if you don't cook it enough is going to taste like flour which you don't want no. so when you make it roasty and toasty like Bobby's doing you won't get that like dry muddy flour taste it'll just be delicious right so just thinking. like get it in there swirl it all together and make sure there are no lumps around and then like cook it and then to this we can add do you have stock we can add a little bit of stock to thin it out eventually if we, we'll, we'll need a little bit of stock. But first I gotta get all the flour and the fat cooking. Look at that. Did you wanna separate the fat or no? I mean, you can. Some recipes will tell you to. I don't particularly care to separate the fat because fat is flavor and it's Thanksgiving. Calories don't count. We're just rolling with it. Right? Right. What other gravy questions? What? Did Belle yell at me? I'm no. telling you, if you haven't been in this kitchen so long, I'm using water. <laughs> it's gonna be fine because I salted that bird. Plenty. It's gonna be the uh, most delicious. What is the difference between using flour, cornstarch, and arrowroot? Great question. You take it. <laughs> um, cornstarch will thicken it a lot faster. Um, it also tends to have like a funny finish to me. I prefer flour with the fat. Yeah. It just emulsifies a lot better. I've never done it with um, arrowroot, have you? No, but it will have a similar, more similar effect to cornstarch than it will flour. Yeah. Um, it is a good gluten-free option. You can also use um, like a cup per cup if you want a gluten-free stuffing. Oh, like a Bob's Red Mill or something yeah. gluten-free? Yeah, I find that Bob's Red Mill gluten-free flour and cup per cup are the two most like easy yeah. gluten-free flowers yeah, to swap out. Sorry, You're good. It's the most, um, I mean, like a duck gravy. I would swim in this entire sorry. boat. So good. I just want to put this on the table. Is that right? Did you I heard make all that? No, I think we're good. No, I feel like this is perfect. I agree. We'll just whisk it for a minute or so and then we can turn around and taste it and then adjust seasoning as needed. What else? We talked about the fried chicken. We talked about so the good. stuffing. We got to cut into that lasagna. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Right? I'm going to turn this off now. Off, off. This will eventually, well, so we're going to let this cool for a little bit so we can taste it. Then we're going to season it with salt and pepper if we need to. And then we can put it into a gravy boat. You do gravy boat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was yeah. that on low heat, medium, or high? Medium high because you really want to cook that flour. And then... You can, you can turn it down to low and let it simmer if you want to. And the roux is basically just adding flour to the pan drippings? Yeah, like if you have as much fat as we had, you don't really need to add more fat to it. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have a lot of fat, no. If you didn't have a lot of fat, you're good. Um, you would maybe add a little bit of butter or olive oil. Yeah, another trick I like to do with <clears throat> flavor gravy at this point is like add some roasted garlic or something. Ooh, um, so into roast that. So roast a whole head of garlic. Throw in some of those like roasty, toasty cloves. Yes. Oh, that would be a very start. Can I get? Yeah. Like pulling the yeah. 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 Get
Oh man, I've never been more excited to eat lasagna in my entire life. Let's give this a try. Have you had it yet? No, I've been saving it for Thanksgiving. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. Life isn't worth living without gravy. Uh, that is okay, the best so gravy. You choose gravy over cranberry. Without a doubt, a hundred times over. Hundred times over. You don't even have to like. Like it's not even a question. Sure, that's good. I don't even need cranberry sauce. It's, like it's not what I would. That's I'm, not your. No, it's not my thing. I, I respect it. I respect Did it. Did you add the drippings from the cutting board? No. There's, you could. You, they're still there. If you were running low on drippings though, and you didn't have enough liquid in there. Before you added the flour, you could totally have put these drippings in there. No question. Oh my god! Am I gonna burn my mouth? There's like 20 pounds. So let's see. Let's see the layers. Okay. Give so us a run through. Um, noodle, of course. Bolognese. Mm -hmm. Um, that has a ton of tomato, tomato paste, red wine. Wow. Um, onion, garlic, carrot, and then a bechamel, a Parmesan. Bechamel. God. Are you not having any? I, I have had lasagna for like every day for like so many days. This is ridiculous. The bad. fact that this isn't just sold, I just need your face to be in the freezer section. <laughs> I, I know I someone doesn't have a freezer section, but like they should. <laughs> this is just full of Ridic lasagna. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I agree. Wow. Yeah. Truly, this is on the website. It's on the website. The recipe guys, just went up. If you needed a lasagna, and I'll post it on my Instagram too. For the day before, the day mm -hmm. after, if you need to drop something off at a friend's house. Yeah, such a good thing. Like as we were saying about sharing this friendsgiving mm -hmm. in a contactless way. Like drop this off at a friend's house. Yeah, until it's safe day. to breathe other one everyone's mm -hmm. air. One day. I'm gonna hurt you. Good. Okay, wait. I had other questions for you. Okay, so we decided neither one of us are pie people. We talked about carving a turkey. What are you doing for actual Thanksgiving Day? Um, for my meal? Yeah. So I am, my brothers are coming up. It's just a very small group this year. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do the turkey meatballs. Mm -hmm. Favorite. I'm going to do the lasagna. Great. Uh -huh. um, Who's going to make the lasagna? You or your brother? Her brothers are also cooked. Yeah. Um, but I mean, they'll help. They love it. Yeah. But, me and then we're just gonna do a ton of veg this year. Mm -hmm. Super into like all the squash of the season. Uh, where did those? I'm making. Oh, these honey nuts. We must tell the people. We gotta talk about the honey, honey nuts. Honey nut, butternut. Honey, honey nut squash. Mm -hmm. It's a but part They're of the little butternut. Butter 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 They're little baby butternut, but like sweeter mm -hmm. and divine. Have you? Can you eat the skin? Thomas ate the skin Probably. last time I made it. Yeah. I was a little skeptical no, of it, but I'm like, still here. It worked. <laughs> I eat like delicata, acorn, kombucha, like I eat mm -hmm. the same all If you roast it, not, mm -hmm. why not? So I'm going to do like rosemary brown butter, um, butternut squash. Uh -huh. I'm going to do some miso Japanese sweet potatoes. Oh, just oh, so crazy. Look at it. My older brother, Oliver, loves delicata squash. He's going to do something. I love you watch. Me too. It's so we're going to do turkey, turkey, dish. turkey meatballs, mm -hmm. that's kind of our moment, and then we're just going to like go crazy with Are lunch. you going to make a gravy for your turkey meatballs? I am, but I actually use our William Sonoma gravy that I'm obsessed with. Really? We developed I got in this kitchen. Oh. Um, we have a caramelized onion gravy that mm -hmm. we sell. Mm, dumb. So good. How's the bird? So perfect. So good. Okay. It's so tender. I'm going to go for a little and moist. Myself. I know people hate that word, but like... Know. It's so good. When it's right, it's right. It's, you, you, sometimes you just gotta tell people what it is. <laughs> and the gravy. Mm -hmm. Good call on making this gravy. So good. Man, that is delicious. Okay, wait. I have so, another question. Yeah. Go ahead, honey. Would you mind cutting the turkey leg, Belle? Mm. Oh, we're gonna teach you how to cut a leg. Let's do it. I'm gonna just clean off the station. I'm gonna turkey by the way. Oh my god! And then we have to make mashed potatoes! Oh my god. We forgot about the potatoes! Okay, you do the turkey leg. Yeah. No, we'll be, I'll get ready. I'll just sit over here. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to move some of this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me get a platter. I do. I need a platter. Or, no, we're just going to use the sheet here. Okay. Here we go. Ah! No, I'm ready. I'm ready. I got my double tongs. <laughs> my carcass. Luckily, it's not as heavy this time. Beautiful. You want to give me a breath or two? Yeah. Let's clear this guy off. 
keep one of the thighs. How big was the uh, turkey? This turkey was almost 20 pounds. Yeah, All right. This is a big bird. But perfect for leftovers. For yeah, days. everyone who's just making a turkey breast this year, it would be okay to have leftovers because then you could make turkey paninis. Mm -hmm. What would be your go-to leftover of choice? Um, I would make sliders. With the oh. turkey? Oh, yeah. Like cranberry sauce, yeah, so salad slider. Sometimes I chop up the turkey, like Ooh. sauteed in a little butter herbs. Okay. Um, what about the Thanksgiving sandwich? Yeah. So Where you do like turkey, turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, all on a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Gravy. A couple years ago, I made stuffing waffles. Ooh. Yeah, oh. yeah, with the waffles. Here's a good question. What's one dish you both wish was customary on Thanksgiving? Like everyone's Thanksgiving table would be better with this. Um, lasagna. Lasagna, yeah. I was going to say mac and cheese because the other day I was oh, reprimanded yeah. for putting mac and cheese on my menu. And I think you're missing out if you're not doing some sort of noodle dish. Like a pasta. Yeah. It's a lasagna kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, with the gravy, if you needed more than this, what would you do? Uh, add more flour, make a bigger roux, and more stock or water. Yeah, and if you just need, keep going. If you need flavor, like a little chicken bouilli or turkey uh -huh. bouilli, you can just add a few cubes in there too. Right. Um, or like a bouillon cube. cube. Yeah, sorry. Bouillon. That's a that's a sorry bouilli. <laughs> that's a what's it called? Culinary. Yeah, something? like a like a slang. Yeah, it's like a, it's a abbreviation. Yes. Okay, so do you guys know we're gonna talk right. mashed potatoes? Okay. This is probably the most um, intimidating part to carve. Just cause you're like, what even shape is this? I don't even know where to start. Thank you, Rick. Um, what I'm gonna do is just get to know the leg. Cause I wanna see like exactly where I am, what I'm doing. You can see the drumstick is kind of right around here. I'm just gonna go right at the natural break where I know that joint is. Just follow it along. This is a hot tip. Yep. Again, going in with my hands till that joint just pops out. Where are you, little joint? Yeah. There she is. Just gonna cut right along. Don't be afraid to get messy. There's no, again, glamorous way to do this. Go right through that joint. I always serve the drumsticks whole. Um, do you hold them by like the handle and eat it like yeah, a pirate? Absolutely. <laughs> Um, duh, I'm like Disneyland. Um, and then to cut this off, I'm again just gonna kind of follow along. This is where you could use a fork if you wanted to. I'm just gonna go right along the bone. Do, do, do. Right where that joint pops out. This turkey is so moist, again with that word. <laughs> I'm gonna pick off a lot of this meat. I carve it off, but just to get some nice clean thigh slices, slices. we're just gonna take kind of like the top main portion off. Well, everybody wants your lasagna recipe. Yes, it's on the blog. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram. Let's start as a lasagna. As ends, cult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm very but like a cult nice, food. a nice cult. A yeah, nice like a lasagna. Cult. You can't be mean and then, in a lasagna cult. cult. And then Thomas, oh, I have tips. Tip. Kind of, you know, these are like the most tender, flavorful parts. If you like dark meat of any poultry, you want to get right up close to the bone. That is like the money. Um, and you can just kind of carve along any pieces of meat you see. And there you go. That's the thigh. Awesome. Again, not glamorous. Not glamorous, but, but delicious. so delicious. Um, okay, let's make some mashed potatoes. I'm okay. gonna move, wait, I'm not allowed to use this, this burner. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot. Um, we'll move the gravy. Okay, so yeah. Belle and I both feel very strongly about one thing. Many things, but really one thing, and it's this. What is that? A potato is? ricer. So if you don't have a potato ricer, this is what it looks like. It's literally something you stick a potato in and go like this, and it rices the potatoes out. You can get it at Williams Sonoma, order it online. I actually got this exact one on Monday at the Beverly Hills store, and it makes for the smoothest, creamiest, most delicious mashed potatoes. You'll never want another mashed potato. You'll potatoes. never, you'll never make them any other way ever again. And I don't say that lately because I have never smelled a potato. <laughs> you I love. Them. All right. So, um, so we have some just peeled 
Um, today I did russet. You can use Yukon Gold. I'm also a huge fan. I like Yukon Gold to Yeah. It depends. Yukon Gold to me are a little, they're less like fibrous than, mm -hmm. and a little more creamy. They have the tendency, if you don't use a ricer, to get gummy. The Yukon can, Gold. Yeah, which yeah. can really throw you off. Yeah, I'm into that. Then our, do we want to start with any like, like heavy butter? cream or butter yeah. in the bottom of this pan? Okay, so you just fill this up with a couple potatoes, nothing yeah. crazy. And then you put this in. I'll let Belle put some butter in there and coat the bottom a little bit. Yeah, otherwise it's going to stick. Yeah, we don't want that. Also, if you by putting butter and a little heavy cream into the pot, you're going to make for easier dishes down the yeah, road. so I actually, hot tip. Mm, creme fraiche? Creme fraiche. Ooh, that I have brought to girl. you super duper room temp. Is this yep. Um, you want it room temp. Yeah, so it's like really smooth. I'm just going to whisk this right in with the butter. Great. Just in case heavy cream's not like rich enough. I was really just waiting for you to put the whole thing in there. Oh, that's going to go in after. <laughs> this is just the start. Okay, so you have your cooked potatoes, russet in today's case. You could totally do Yukon Gold. And you just literally press down with the ricer. I mean, how is that not... How is this not one of those like ASMR? I know, it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Wow, that feels really good. What else are we putting in these potatoes? Mm, anything? Um, you don't really need much. No, you really don't need much. Um, creme fraiche, butter, salt, pepper is kind of my go-to. Salt and pep. Um, salt and pep, my favorite. Oh my God, this is like the I most. Know. <laughs> I used to Wait, lift I'm weights. making the pregnant lady I do this. No, what? no, you relax. I used to lift weights. You relax. I know. Well, now I'm just pathetic. What a time to be alive when <laughs> lifting weights was a thing. Oh my god. Um, you can do a ton of things flavor wise. Uh, you can add some if you want to do some like cheesy potatoes. I put parmesan. parmesan. So I did a mashed potato post four ways this year. One was plain. This does take a little. I have to take some muscle. Give it to me. I need to work out. I need to work out. I made this with a buddy. <laughs> I made cacio um, e pepe potatoes this year. Oh, yum. They were ridiculous. And then I made a bacon and scallion potato situation. How does the ricer compare to a food mill? Oh, it's faster. I think. It's faster, yeah. Well, and I also, there's less time that the potatoes are under like pressure. If you think of a food mill, you're constantly going and going and going. So they can kind of like get weighed down. This keeps them really light and fluffy. Oh, well, I got a few chunks in there, but that's okay. It's not, I need these to be beautiful and oh, smooth okay. for final biting. Absolutely not okay. <laughs> so I did put the whole thing of creme fraiche. <laughs> Calories don't count on Thanksgiving or no. virtual friends. Especially here. when you start with um, a lasagna. Yeah, no, we're all, we're all just going for it. That's why you wear a stretchy pants. Yeah. Um, are you guys zooming in the rest of your family or anything this year? That's a good question. We haven't talked about it. Probably. Right, are you? I mean, yeah, well, so our, our Thanksgiving is just going to be Thomas and I, so yeah, we'll probably end up yeah. zooming both of our families in. But also, I was reading this article the other day about how to do, like, a proper, like, Thanksgiving Zoom and, like, actually make it special. Oh, yeah. And one thing it said was to, like, actually get dressed. Oh, what is that? It's just a very odd concept. Like a button? Yeah. <laughs> or like, that's nice. I think like special. your family matching like ridiculous Thanksgiving pajamas oh, or something that. like that. I think. You know, sharing the same meal. I'm not sad about heavy cream. We're just going. How are you doing, Bob? How are your arms? <laughs> Good, I'm sweating. I think sharing the same meal, so sharing recipes, sending food is really special. It will feel like you're together if you can talk about it. Yeah. Um, sharing playlists <gasps> is really fun. Tom has made a really awesome playlist. Of course he does. How do we find that? It's on Spotify. Under what's Thomas eating? Yep. If you search for that user, there's a bunch of playlists there. Okay. Amazing. So yeah, definitely a playlist. Share with people. Share with your people. I don't know um, what we're going to wear. I mean, we might get dressed. I it's might cute. put on it's makeup. It's nice. It's nice. Right? I put on makeup like, for you today. And also, thank you so much. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> My eyebrows are like, what's mascara? Um, Can you use them? Yeah, we're going to give this a little. Oh. What's of course? That's me. Give this a quick little stir. Again, you don't. You want to be really light in the wrist here. You don't want to like weigh down all that light. Everybody who's watching, are you guys doing anything cool or special to make this year? 
feel, yeah, share with us feel good doing. even though we're not doing the traditional thing. Do you want to try? Okay, potato? potato? Yeah, absolutely. I salted a bit. I and I need a little more. I mean, I always have more salt. I should also get my salt a spoon. Yeah, you should. Oh. Oh my god. Delightful? Mm hmm. Like perfection? Yeah. The crumb really fresh adds like a nice little tang. Yeah, delicious. Yeah. Look at that. Chef. <laughs> Chef salting. What is everyone sharing? Any good ideas coming? No. Not yet. They're coming through. You're thinking about it, guys. I can tell. I can tell. Uh, one, somebody's mom is teaching them how to make apple pie via Zoom. Cool. Making all the dishes oh, only for good. the yeah. small family. It's not but cook. Cook with your family. Cook with your family. Yeah. 100%. People are zooming desserts and drinks. Oh, that's that's fun. Grandma cinnamon rolls for breakfast. Oh, that's something your family would do. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk Thanksgiving breakfast. Okay. I feel like that's a hot topic. And no one really knows what to do, including myself most of the time. I mean, for me, I would eat a big meal in the morning and then not have dinner until like five and yeah. skip lunch. But I also pick the whole time and during the cooking. It's hard to cook in the kitchen. It's hard not to. You like eat a whole thing seven before you sit down. Like I have to tell you, last year at Friendsgiving, we had 50 people over to my house. Bella must have been out of town. I know. I'm, you were not I'm available. Ready. But um, by the time we sat down for dinner, I don't think I ate anything. No, I do the same thing. Because I'm like, I've been eating Kind of when I'm cooking day. anything, I sit down and I'm like, okay. Well. <laughs> I just want to watch everybody yeah. else eat I know, that's meal. the joy of it. <laughs> That's, That's the one point. I mean, I'm so lucky that my brothers who are local come up in the safe way and share a meal with me. But I think it's sad for a lot of people not to have that moment. If you're yeah. like a cook in the kitchen, obviously, if you're watching, you love to cook. You love to cook with Gabby. Like, it's. That's what's going to be missing. So how can we make up for that like really special moment of sitting down and sharing? Yeah, I know, I, and watching people enjoy. I think it's fixing, I think it's connecting like we were saying earlier yeah. on Zoom, dropping things off at people's houses, and then just think about how epic next year is going to be. Oh, like truly, Thanksgiving, holiday, holiday going to be Fourth <laughs> <laughs> of July, out of control. Out of control. <laughs> like everything next year is just going to be so extra. And right, it's just one year that we're kind of like taking a beat. For the mashed potatoes, can you use cream cheese? Yeah. You could use mascarpone, you could use cream cheese, you could use creme fraiche, you could use parmesan. For the mashed potatoes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you strain the gravy? No, we no. didn't. You can. Here's it. I mean, like, I, I, you could, but again, more dishes. Yeah. More dishes. And then you get, like, all the little, little leaves of thyme and all that kind yeah, of stuff I, in there as well. You're kind of straining out a lot of the flavor. Yeah. I like it more, like, rustic like that. Again, one less step. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't even know what I was straining it in. Oh, like, yeah. I guess, like, a mesh yeah. thing. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what else? Other questions? Not at the moment, Another but... Another thing that I'm going to add to my um, traditions, now that Please. it's a common one, is fried chicken. Like, should we have some? Whether it's Nashville Paw or just, you know, like, what an amazing thing. Everyone loves it. This and Matt, if you guys are in Nashville and haven't been to 404 Kitchen ordered takeout from 404 Kitchen. What are you doing with Have this? experienced Matt in real life. You need to. He's by far one of the most talented chefs I've ever met. In America. He came to the test kitchen once and taught me how to make this like pasta mm -hmm. in this crazy way. Yeah, like, Matt, I don't know if you remember that, but it's near and dear to my heart. I still make it. The sauce is so bomb on this. It's so good. Hot chicken is like a very, very specific spice blend. Um, do you know what it is? Yeah. Oh, well, not his. Okay. I'm sure you know, everyone has a little special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But it's sweet and spicy, so definitely cayenne, definitely paprika, probably smoked paprika, brown sugar, salt, pepper, and then whatever extra. I wish they were together yes. every day. It would be so, so much fun. more fun. Like, we've been here at home. What? Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, we are selling this Nashville hot chicken kit soon, so you will be able to make what? this at home. What? Fried like, chicken. Like, just buy your own chicken and the dredging no, all they'll send it to you. No, they'll send it to you. Perishable? Perishable. Game over. You got the chicken, breading, the oil, the spice, everything. You can make it at home. That's brilliant. And we're going to, you know, I think fried chicken and just frying, deep frying things at home can be intimidating. Mm -hmm. People think they're going to, like, I don't know, blow up their kitchen. Yeah. Sometimes I think that. <laughs> Sometimes so I'm it's good. Yeah, yeah, right? So it's good to know how to do that. So we're going to do a ton of, like, content on how to deep fry at home. 
which is really fun. Do you I think we need a deep fryer, or can we deep fry in like a deep and then like a skillet? It depends on how much you deep fry. Yeah. If you don't have the deep fryer, the little basket. You need one. You need it. But otherwise, you could do like a four inch, whatever, all clad or something. Yeah, I do. A, I do a Dutch oven. Yeah, it's really heavy. Yes, yeah, smart. Um, and keeps the oil really hot. Definitely want an oil therm or a candy therm because you want to make sure that oil is at the perfect temperature. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, wait, hot, hot three tools for Thanksgiving. Oh. Potato ricer. Potato ricer, no question. Carving set. Carving set, no question. I'm going to go with the uh, thermometer. Yeah. What yeah. would oh, be your I third? Mean, God, we're so good. So, so, much. so in tune. You can reverse that. <laughs> That's definitely true. That's it. How do you donate? Is on the event page, and I believe you've pinned it to the. Top this, of the yep. Comments. You can go to williamsonoma.com forward slash St. Jude. And William Sonoma is matching all of the donations, so yeah. let's just like have them match everything. Like, just like, I mean, I. <laughs> we're getting notes, and we're not very subtle about it. We're not subtle about it at all. Like, I would not do well. You can donate so. in store and online. <laughs> um, and WS store open all week. Oh, yes, no, that's actually very good. When you check out at William Sonoma, you can also <laughs> add money to your tab and support St. Jude, yes. which is just amazing. And I went to William Sonoma Beverly Hills on Monday. It was the safest place I've shopped the entire oh, 254 great. days from now. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that because we put a ton of effort. To it's true. Our associates safe, get, our customers uh, safe. Thermometer yeah, when absolutely. you walk in the door. Um, and we're open all week, so any like last minute things you Even need. Even Thursday? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we are open all week besides Thursday. Um, <laughs> if you need cranberry sauce, not Dolby, more for us. Our cranberry relish, the die for Your stuffing. stuffing's also bomb. You need like a last minute roasting pan. Um, a potato ricer. A potato, you, everyone go to the store and get a potato ricer right yeah. now. Or just order it online. Or order online. Williamsoma.com backslash potato ricer. I'm pretty sure you're going to get, you're going to find at least five options. 100%. But we really like Side this. What's brand is that one? Is that WS or? This is. Awesome? I think this is, is awesome. awesome. Yeah. Because this is the one I have on Sundays. It's yeah. They have really good yeah. tools. They have so. And also, I didn't say this earlier. I forgot, but you could adjust this for three different sizes of ricing. Yeah. If you wanted a thicker. And most ricers are a you know what to clean. Not this one because you can remove the bottom, the bottom comes off. and the blades too. So it's very convenient. Very convenient. Any last minute questions? Can you put sweet potatoes through the ricer? 100%. Absolutely. And squash. Now I'm obsessed with squash. I've never done that. A mashed honey nut? Like light and fluffy? Yeah. Very into that. What if you did half honey nut, half potato? Love so that. it's a lightened up mashed potato for everyone who's being a little bit like health conscious. Love that. Not me, obviously, because I eat Not everything. Not me, I decide to cover it in brown butter. I'm wearing but leggings I mean, and they don't fit currently. <laughs> A little yeah, I think you have like a little bit of excuse. I know, but I'm still very full. <laughs> <laughs> a little turkey is like really basted in there. Um, if you guys have any questions too, just about the products Bobby has with us, all of our seasonings, oils, cocktail mixes, feel free to ask those or you can send us questions also. Yeah, and service. you have to follow Bell on Instagram. Thank you, Bobby. What's the Instagram handle? Um, Bell. Bell. <laughs> Let me just That's show it. you her photography, because you know sometimes you go to look at people's Instagrams. Just let me, just oh, let me so see your, let me just see your PR person for a second. Oh, but some people, some people suck at like her photography is amazing. Also, look at those cheekbones. <laughs> look at this, the food. Hold on, where was that one picture you posted? Yes, oh, look at her pastas. Look at these. These are dumb. Cacio e pepe. And I share a bunch of recipes. Bell underscore English. Bell underscore English. Sorry. Yeah. Bell like the princess, not like ding dong. Important. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also share a ton of like behind the scenes WS test kitchen stuff, which is fun to follow for videos. Yeah. <laughs> this is Bell's office, by the way. This is like, my office. I mean, it does pretty epic. Like thing, but it is pretty beautiful. Bobby, we've made it. As you should not think so. This is what my kitchen looks like on a daily basis. I'm pretty into it. This um, video will also be saved for any, for everyone asking. This will be on Gabby's Facebook page. It will be on my Facebook page. You can watch Bell Carver.
our turkey, we can yes. watch make a gravy, potato ricing, all the things. The lasagna recipe is on williamsonoma.com. Yes. And I'll post it later. Too. And if you haven't donated and you would like to, we would be forever grateful. Yeah, and you can also donate um, online and in store too. Yeah, that's that. Everyone said that this is the perfect way to kick off Thanksgiving Yay! week. Yay! We were all excited. It Thank like, you guys for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. This was so fun. Love you. Love you. Is that it? Are we wrapped? Are we wrapped? Do we have any notes to read? <laughs> Super <laughs> subtle. We're weird. Why do they do that in? It's like Top Chef where they like tell you something yeah. and Padma's just like so fly about yeah. it. We need to work on our keyboard. We're not. Which is why we're not <laughs> hosts on Top Chef. <laughs> yes. Okay. Bye, Bye everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.